Hello guys, in today's video I will show you how you can use Blender's procedural materials in any other software like Maya Marmoset for rendering. For this, we have to bake textures on the UV map of our model from the procedural material we have created. I have created this very simple tile material with the help of Blender's procedural nodes and now I will show you how you can bake the base color, the roughness map and the normal map for this material so you can render this outside Blender. Make sure your object has proper UVs. I am demonstrating on this plane which is unwrapped properly. So the process for baking the texture maps is first of all you have to create the image you want to bake the maps on. So I'm gonna add an image texture, create a new image. Let's call this, let's call this tile base color. I'm gonna give it a 4K resolution and I'm gonna hit OK. Now if you have multiple materials on your object, you have to copy this image and paste it on each of the material of your object. Then what you have to do, you have to isolate the node which is going in base color of your principal BSDF. I'm gonna go to render properties, under bake, I'm gonna set the bake type to emit. Uh, by default it will be on combined I guess. I will set it to emit because we have to bake the because we have to bake the node which is emitting right now in material output which is our base color so just hit emit select your object make sure to select the image as well and hit bake okay now the bake has completed i'm gonna split this screen go to my image editor and select my tile base color.001 because that's what's the name of my image texture I've just created is. Here you can find perfectly baked base color for your object according to your UVs. Like the UVs of this plane is quite simple. So that's why the image texture we have generated is squarish. But if you have like different UVs for different objects, the texture will be according to their UVs. Now for the base color, I'm gonna show you a trick. You can sharpen this image and it will look quite effective in any other software. So first of all, make sure your screen resolution has set to your map resolution, which is 4K. So I'm gonna set it as well, 4096 by 4096. Now make sure your color management is also set to standard. I'm gonna override it and from filmic i'm gonna set it to standard because we do not want any filmic effect to happen on our base color we want it as neutral as possible now we're gonna jump on to compositing tab use nodes i'm gonna hit ctrl shift and click on this viewer node as well i'm gonna delete this render layer and i'm gonna add a image node and i'm gonna select my tile base color.001 and i'm gonna ctrl shift and click on the node to view my image in the backdrop i'm gonna connect this to composite as well now I'm gonna search for filter node and I'm gonna add it here and set it to then sharpen. You can see in the backdrop the image just got sharpened and it is looking more effective. But the factor value of one is too much in my opinion. I, I set it to around 0.5.6. I will mute this node to get you the sense of the result. This is before and this is with the diamond sharpen filter. Now we're gonna go to layout and now we will save this image which is sharpened by going to image save as base color. Now let's bake roughness map for this. I'm gonna add a new image texture. I'm gonna hit new. I'm gonna name it tile material roughness. 4k resolution I'm gonna hit ok. Now I'm gonna go to the node which is connecting to the roughness channel in my principal BSDF and I'm gonna hit Control shift and click on this mix node to isolate the... Now what I will do, I will go to my bake settings, make sure it sets to emit and as we are emitting the roughness map now, I'm gonna hit bake. Okay, so as you can see, our roughness map has been baked and it's looking quite good. I don't think it needs sharpen, uh, but if you want, you can sharpen this image by the same process I've shown you for base color. I'm gonna go ahead and save it as my tile roughness. And now let's bake the normal map. Again, the same process, I'm gonna add an image texture, I'm gonna name it tile normal i'm gonna set the resolution to 4k i'm gonna hit ok 
this time we're not going to bake the emit channel uh, but we are going to bake the normal channel i'm gonna connect my principal bsdf to my surface and i am gonna go to bake settings and set the bake type to normal that's it that's it you have to do and normal map will take much more time than base color or roughness so i'm gonna make sure my object is selected my tile normal map is selected and i'm gonna hit bake okay so our normal map is looking pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and save this as well so that's how you can bake texture maps from procedural materials in blender to use them in any software also i want to say that if you have multiple materials for your objects you have to copy this image texture you are creating for each texture map to all of the materials and also while baking base color and roughness map you have to isolate each node in all the materials one by one okay so that's it for today's video guys if you have any doubts please feel free to leave them in comments and i will see you in the next video till then happy blending